At one time or another, many of us had to drill through a very hard metal such as hardened steel, stainless steel, or cast iron. As we were drilling, we quickly discovered that the drill bit wasn't up to the task. Today I'll be testing all four cobalt twist drills that you see right here to see which one can drill through a quarter inch thick 304 stainless steel angle iron the fastest. I'm also going to be checking to see which one holds up best after drilling several times into the same 304 stainless steel angle iron. When the test is performed, I'm going to be using 5 16th inch for each brand. To get started, let's take a closer look at each one of these twist drills. The first bit is made by Drill America. Now this bit is part of a 29 piece cobalt bit set. You can see it right over here. Everything is stored very neatly inside this container. It can be clipped onto your work belt. And the best part, when you screw the cover back on, there's a waterproof gasket. So you do not have to worry about any moisture entering this container to corrode the bits. These Drill America bits have a 135 degree split point tip that's walk resistant. They're designed for drilling through tough, high tensile strength materials like stainless steel, titanium, and in canal. These Drill America bits use an M35 alloy, so that means the cobalt content is 5%. You can see it has a gold oxide finish, that's for lubrication, and provides wear resistance. The cost of this bit is right around $6, and it's made in the USA. For the Milwaukee, you can see up to 15 times life versus black oxide. Quad edge tip, 135 degrees. At the very bottom, you can see where it goes into the chuck. There are three flat sides, and that's to prevent slippage. Designed for stainless steel, cast iron, metal, and wood. It's called the Red Helix because it starts off at a 35 degree angle and ends off at 15. So if you look at the spacing right over here, you can see how wide that is. Over here, it's narrower, and up here, it's even less. Compare that to the Drill America and you can see the difference. The spacing here is the same all the way up. The quad edge is designed to reduce heat and make drilling faster. Milwaukee does not specify on their website or even on this product what the alloy of cobalt is, but I'm figuring it's probably an M35. If it was M42, which is a higher grade, which is 8% cobalt, Usually you would see M42 on the packaging. Right over here it says low speed recommended in stainless steel. Average cost for the Red Helix bit is $10. And the Milwaukee bit is made in China. The Bosch is a CO2147, 4 times life with hardcore cobalt. This one here I believe is an M35 because the M42 at the very end of the 7, you would see a B. Designed for drilling, stainless steel, cast iron, steel beams, wood, and PVC. Average retail price for the Bosch bit is right around $7. This drill bit, just like the Red Helix, has three flat sides. The purpose of that is to prevent slippage. And this one also has a no-skate tip. It's 135 degree angle. Made in China. The last cobalt bit is DeWalt, it's a DW1220. The DW1220 is typically sold as part of a set, it's a DD4069. You can see that over here on the right. It's going to be a very good comparison for the Drill America. And the other set that's sold by DeWalt right over here is a DWA1269, and that one has a pilot point. The purpose of the pilot point is to prevent walking and have the bit cut faster when contact is made. The tip of the DeWalt bit uses a 135 degree split point. Average retail price for this cobalt bit is very close to the Milwaukee, right around $10. The DeWalt cobalt bit is made in China. Now to ensure accurate testing results, each bit will be placed under the exact same conditions. I'll be setting the drill press speed at 1150 RPM, which is well under the 1500 RPM maximum rating for the cobalt bits when drilling into hardened metals. The downward force being applied will be the same for all of the bits. I'll be using a 10 pound weight which is going to give us right around 65 pounds of downward pressure at the drill bit. I'll be applying oil to the point of contact before drilling starts and while the drilling is taking place. The timer will start once the drill makes contact with the stainless steel and will stop when the drill bit passes through the metal. Let's get testing.
Okay, let's take a look at the results. As you can see, the Drill America bit came in first place, taking just under 13 seconds to drill through that quarter inch 304 stainless steel. Milwaukee came in second place, just under one second longer at 13.864 seconds. Bosch came in third place at 16.857 seconds, and last place, DeWalt, at 21.254 seconds. Now right here you can see each one of the holes that were drilled. The first one on the left is the Milwaukee, nice and smooth with those shavings that were coming off the bit. The second one right here is from the Drill America. You can see the hole not as smooth as the other three. The next hole was drilled by the Bosch bit, and that hole is almost as smooth as the Milwaukee. The last hole was drilled by the DeWalt bit, and you can see it's just a little smoother than the Drill America. The next thing I'm going to do is take each one of these drill bits, and I'm going to drill five more holes for each bit using the exact same process you just saw. After those holes have been drilled, we're going to take a closer look at the five holes from each bit. And when that drilling is done, we're going to drill a final hole for each one of the bits. That's going to make seven holes drilled, and we're going to time how long it takes to drill the last hole to compare it to how long it took to drill the first hole. By doing that, we'll have a very good idea of how much each one of these bits has worn after drilling seven holes. Right here, you can see the Drill America holes all five lined up. You see the first one we drilled on the far right. The Drill America holes still have a lot of horizontal lines or grooves inside the holes. The first hole on the left was the last hole that was drilled of the five. Very interesting that that one's smoother than all the others. For the Bosch bit, you can see the first hole on the right was the second hole to be drilled. And as we drilled more and more holes to the left, to the far left, you can see there was a lot more grooves very similar to the Drill America. Right here are the holes created by the Milwaukee Red Helix bit, and you can see how beautiful each one of those holes are. They're very smooth, and as the bit was drilling in each one of those holes, we had really nice continuous metal shavings. And the last one is the DeWalt bit. You can see the inside of each one of the holes that were drilled is fairly smooth. There are some horizontal lines inside the holes, but not nearly as much as the Drill America bit. Now we're going to drill one final hole and we're going to time how long it takes for each one of the bits. Okay, let's take a look at the results. And as you can see, a very big shocker, the Drill America that was in first place ended up in fourth place. When the Drill America bit was new, it was able to outperform the other three. And you can see now it takes 
26.568 seconds to drill through that quarter inch 304 stainless angle. That's over 104% longer. The next slowest bit in line was the DeWalt, 25.501 seconds, just over one second less than the Drill America, and that's only 19.98% longer than when the bit was brand new. Next in line is the Bosch coming in at 21.134 seconds. That's 25.37% longer than when the bit was brand new. And coming in at first place is the Milwaukee at 15.834 seconds. That's only 14.22% longer. So the least amount of wear took place by the Milwaukee, followed by the DeWalt, then the Bosch, and last place, Drill America. Now we're going to take a look at each one of the drill bit tips to see what they look like before the drilling took place and after the seventh hole. Now you're going to understand why the Drill America bit took so much longer to drill the seventh hole. Now the two images on the left are when the drill bit was brand new and the two images on the right were after the seventh hole was drilled. The lower left hand corner you can see that there's a sharp corner at the tip area. When you look at the image at the lower right, you're going to see where that sharp defined corner was in the lower left. It more or less has blended into the cutting edge. There is an area of, I'd say, lighter to moderate wear towards the outer cutting edge, and that's going to affect the performance. And if you look at the top right image, you're going to see there's a moderate wear spot on the cutting edge. And another big problem, where that sharp corner was is now a big chip. And that's definitely going to put a hurting on this bit when it's drilling into stainless steel. You're now looking at the DeWalt bit. The two on the left are new. If you take a look at the top right, you're going to see the cutting edge itself isn't bad, with the exception of that one spot where there's a heavy worn area towards the outer edge. If you look at the lower right image, you're going to see the entire cutting edge shows signs of moderate wear when you compare it to the one on the lower left. And you can also see there's some chips missing from the tip of the bit. The next twist drill that you're looking at is the Bosch Cobalt bit. And you can see the only thing that really happened to this bit that I can tell is there's a little area at the tip that was flattened. And that's going to affect how fast this cuts into metal. As you can see, the cutting edges held up pretty well. And last is the Milwaukee Red Helix. And you can see the two on the left, the cutting edge, compared to the two on the right. There's a little bit more wear with the two on the right. The rest of the bit appears to be in very good condition. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this testing video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thanks for watching.